day two of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. And one of the headline speeches tonight will be delivered by a former Republican rival to former President Trump, Nikki Haley, who wanted to be president herself. Of course, this is coming off one of the most surreal starts to a party convention in American history. Former President Trump returning to the public eye just days after he was nearly assassinated during a rally in Pennsylvania. With his ear bandage and a more somber demeanor, Trump witnessed his fellow Republicans officially nominate him for president for the third time. And he did it alongside his new choice for VP, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson live outside the RNC in Milwaukee. And she begins our coverage. Kimberly? Good morning, Charlene and Mike. A very busy day ahead here in Milwaukee. Delegates attending a long list of panel discussions, including one titled Israel and the Path to Peace. Later tonight, the I Love New York Party. Looking ahead at yesterday and day one, at times it was very spirited, at other moments, deeply emotional. Donald J. Trump. President Trump's first public appearance since the assassination attempt just days ago. The man is tough. Trump walking into the Republican National Convention Monday night to thunderous applause, now the party's official nominee, a bandage covering his right ear. By his side, his newly named running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. He knows what it's like to live in poverty, forgotten, by Washington politicians. The 39-year-old former Marine and venture capitalist rose to national fame with his memoir, Hillbilly Elegy. Vance was once a Trump critic calling him, quote, America's Hitler. I don't hide from that. I was certainly skeptical of Donald Trump in 2016, but President Trump was a great president and he changed my mind. I think he changed the minds of a lot of Americans. President Biden on Vance's nomination. He's a clone of Trump on the issues. Trump on the Trump's near brush with death last weekend becoming a rallying cry for Republicans. On Saturday, the devil came to Pennsylvania holding a rifle, but an American lion got back up on his feet and he won! And each day here at the convention features a theme linked to Trump's anthem of Make America Great Again. Today, it is Make America Safe Once Again. The session officially opens at 5 p.m. Central tonight. Shirlene and Mike. Kimberly, speaking of safety, we see the officers behind you. What is the security scene at this arena? This is a round-the-clock operation that will stay this way until the convention wraps up Thursday. Let me show you what's going on. This is actually a walk-through security checkpoint. Officers are checking bags. They're double-checking everybody that goes through here. This will lead you into what's called the hard zone. That is the most inner zone of the convention. The, the, the convention hall is there and main of the, many of the main venues. There are thousands of law enforcement agents from around the the country here, including a large contingent of Capitol Police. They are here and they will also be in Chicago next month for the Democratic National Convention. Back to you guys.